If any of you have trouble sleeping, stay tuned. This one's for you. Hey guys, I'm Karen McCullough and I'm going to admit something personal to you. I have a hard time falling asleep. I don't know about many of you, but it's been a challenge of mine since my early days as an entrepreneur. I lay in bed and I worry. So I tried all kinds of things. I've become the expert on people who can't sleep. Number one, you got to have the room dark. You got to have the house cold. Sometimes I put my air on in the winter because I want to get it cold enough because I live in Houston, right? Um, they talk about not having a TV in your room. So I took the TV out of my room. I even sprayed all my bedding with lavender so that I could have a comfortable night's sleep. It didn't work. So I started examining my process at night. What do I do? And one of the things I do is I watch late night. I watch Jimmy Fallon. So I decided that I probably needed to turn off screens about a half an hour before I went to bed. So I decided to start journaling. So I go into the room and I started writing my to-do list of all the things that I needed to get done the next day. I thought that was the thing you should do. I read David Allen when he says, just put five things on your list. So I tried just putting five things of what I was going to do on my list. I found myself dreaming about, thinking about, not sleeping with a loop of those five things going over and over in my brain. It wasn't working and I needed to make a change. So I decided instead of that to shift my thinking. I started thinking about reflecting and self-awareness, which I have talked about in the past. I thought I'd take my own advice. I thought I would start reflecting instead of on what I need to do, what I have done. And I started journaling before I went to sleep on the accomplishments, the relationships, the things that I did that day that moved the needle, that moved me forward. And you know, it's been good. I can't tell you that I'm falling asleep right away, but I can tell you that that loop isn't going around. So for you, think about it. At the end of the day, take time. Write the accomplishments. Write the things that you've done right that day. Write about the people that you've met and the relationships that you want to keep growing. And hopefully, you'll get a good night's sleep. Hey guys, thanks. This is Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.